Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Remember that neato effect that was like something around the lines of if you get a coin flip of heads, prevent all effects of attacks including damage to your Pokemon or something like that? What if I made a deck all around that called the Avoidance deck? Yeah, I thought that would be a pretty interesting concept because it makes Pokemon have higher HP than what they look like, basically. Well, assuming I get coin flips, but I seem to be getting these coin flips lately, so let's run down, <laughs> down the Pokemon here. Got Thundershock, Pikachu here. It's low HP at just 30, but I got this agility, prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon. That's why I chose that particular one. Uh, I got both Flying Pikachu to max out that, because, you know, I only got so many copies of each, so... Uh, they're both exactly the same, other than the picture, so... Causes paralysis and prevent all effects of attacks and glute damage. But if tails, the attack does nothing. So that's kind of kind of iffy. The same with the Pidgeotto you'll see. Uh, but here's the difference between the artwork. You can see Pikachu is more centered here. Offset for the plane in the background. And yeah, yeah also some more balloons and stuff. Another one. And also uh, the Raichu. Agility. Prevent all of attack, effects of attacks. Yada, yada, yada. But I may also decide to do a Thunder depending on the situation. 60 damage could be nice. Uh, there's Pidgey. It doesn't really have the sort of dealio where you can do any sort of damage avoidance, but Pidgeotto, yeah. None of the Pidgeys actually have an, any sort of damage avoidance, so I just chose that one because it seemed like the best option out of all the Pidgeys. So I could also choose to uh, use Twister instead of Fly, depending on the situation. Like, say, if I if I don't want to bounce something up to the hand, I can just keep doing damage to it with Fly, maybe, and then finish it off with Twister as, a, like, a guaranteed attack dealion. Yeah, yeah, but I don't, I'm not sure if I want to... Yeah, because I don't want to let the opponent reuse energy cards if I can help it, so we shall see the situation there. Uh, the Spiro... Just simple attacks, basically. It's one attack, I mean, uh, one energy for the attack and stuff, and then Fero, agility, prevent all effects, yeah, 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 yeah. And maybe I'll use the drill pack because I got a bunch of double colorless energy, as you've seen there, but it's still pretty, pretty expensive. Uh, for the energy, uh, tra energy cards, for the trainer cards, I've got potion and scoop up to kind of throw off the opponent's expectations of low HP critters that I have. So I figured that would be a nice way to kind of offset the issues that such Pokémon have at certain po points in the duel, perhaps, maybe. And then the rest are pretty standard. Trader, Professor Oak, Energy Removal, Challenge, etc. Yeah. Alright, so with that out of the way, let's play that Challenge Machine. Imakuni is the finale here. I'm looking forward to that, as always. But Ellen is up first with the Eevees of Doom. And I guess I should lead with Spiro and try and power up a Pidgey off to the side, you know, to get full health and everything like that. So yeah, it's kind of too many basic Pokemon in an opening hand, but well, what can you do? I'm always looking for the two. Alright, so we're gonna go put that on there, and we're gonna go and wing attack there. How does that sound? Well, if it doesn't sound good to you, I already did it, so too bad! So she's got- oh, I should've- why didn't I use the- well, whatever. Oh, man! <laughs> I was hoping I'd be able to knock out the EV outright, but no. No. Well, I could get another double colorless. I mean, I should probably go do that. And, yeah, challenge. <laughs> Should have did that last time. <laughs> and, I'm definitely gonna plop flying Pikachu out there. Put Spiro in play. I'm not gonna evolve it, because I don't wanna, yeah. Don't wanna reduce my attacking chances right now, and I can't get to the agility anyway this turn. Ooh! Can you do all oh, you can do? I was gonna say, if you have one energy, you most certainly can do double damage. And, well. Well, that's not gonna KO the Spiro, but yeah, she just, just wanted to save the uh, the HP of the EV for later, perhaps, maybe. Unfortunately, yeah, I cannot. So, the flying Pikachu cannot evolve into a Raichu, despite how it looks. And double colorless? Oh, thank you! Thank you! 
Uh, I wonder if I should go for another Professor Oak to try an energy removal. Hmm. Maybe? <laughs> That's very tempting. Let's see, because I, I don't want to lose my Fearal so quickly, since I heard, you know I just got it on the field. I could, yeah. There we go, nice to see. Oh, and Potion too, that's also nice to see. And yeah, I think I'm done for now, so Agility? Yeah! So I didn't even need to do that. I was just extra paranoid of my coin flips. <laughs> and let's see what she does though. Ooh, that actually could be useful for me. Because I could get some uh, more energy removal. You know, you know, you know. <laughs> we shall see. So, yeah, she's just definitely going for the KO on the Fear Row. Oh, there's it. <laughs> yep, that worked for me. Uh, I don't have more energy for Fear Row now, though, so... Uh, I'm thinking of getting a Raichu, maybe? But I'll think about it since I don't have energy in general. So hopefully I'll get heads here. There we go. And if I get energy, I'll probably just end up drill pecking the uh, Electabuzz just based on the situation. Like I said, I wasn't going to use it, but I'm in decent shape. Oh, and she's even put fire energy on the... That means she's out of lightning. Extra good news for my flying critters. By the way, uh, flying resists fighting, which are, are what my lightning Pokemon are weak to, other than, you know, flying Pikachu and the like, but... So, it's kind of a nice symbiotic relationship here. And it looks like... She did not manage to get any basic Pokémon in all those turns, besides those two, so... So... I win. <laughs> I'll take it! And, uh... End this game, I suppose. <laughs> Nothing more I can do than that. And also, hopefully that continues in future games, because I don't expect to have that sort of luck later on. James, once again, Mr. GR number one. And... well, <laughs> that's not unexpected, but you know, it's, I, I, it's far less than I had last game. <laughs> uh, ooh, I only have the 30 HP Pikachu. I'm gonna have Potion to go along with it, but uh, ooh, I also don't have much... <laughs> in fact, no draw power, I was gonna say much in the way of draw power. Ooh, well, I guess it's not that bad. I could do Frighten, but I wasn't gonna, yeah, I was gonna... <laughs> Didn't have any sort of way to play anything anyway. Okay, there's that. So we're good now. Put that on there and Thunder Shock. Aw. Oh, I tried. I tried. <laughs> Might be able to actually knock out the Ghastly depending on the situation. You know, before he gets more bench Pokemon, but I wouldn't count on it. Um Should I just go for uh, I'm just, I'm just starting to think here. Should I go for attaching the energy to my Pika Pooper here, or should I put it on the flying Pikachu, or it would probably be more useful? Because I'm thinking maybe I could get the Raichu, which, you know, has the agility 20 and for a uh, double colorless and one lightning. But I, I'm thinking I should probably just do it that way. Probably, because I could also get Thunder, which is three lightning and one, uh, one colorless. I was going to say one double colorless. Did you not get a basic? Uh, Dark Venusaur, but that's not a basic. Ooh, boy. Yeah, that's not gonna work for you, is it? <laughs> well, I win. <laughs> that's, uh, wow. Maybe this is my extra lucky deck or something. I, <laughs> I wouldn't count on that either, but... So far, so good. Well, no, no, no! No. Oh, what? No. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I got lightning Pokemon for the... Ch that he's got. Mm, not right now, though. I got Professor Oak, though, so I should be fine. It's a small bench, as you can see there. Not gonna forget about that this time. And, well, I'll probably forget about it somewhere along the line. <laughs> just, just knowing myself. Uh, lightning... Should I just immediately go into the Professor Oak? Just a case of some sort of... I don't think that my Spiro is that much in trouble, so maybe I should hold off and just peck for now. 
see how things go. I think I think we're safe. I think we're okay because even Gyarados, if it evolves, requires three, three energy cards. So, I right, challenge. That's nice. Or I should say, Bill, scoop up in another Professor Oak. Well, well, I might as well just do that and then. Go ahead and said Professor Oak, because I really do need the basics, so I just wanted to see with that like, all the energy that I had, if I could really utilize that for something, but nah. No need for energy removal. Definitely a need to <laughs> fill up my bench with poopers, so wing attack now, that everything is all nice and set up. Pika? It's Pika number two. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's, uh, this is another thing that you could use in that uh, multi-energy deck where I had all six energy types, is the Surfing Pikachu. Because he uses water energy instead of lightning. But I figured since I already had the Jolteon, I had that sort of thing covered, so... I, I went, yeah, I went with the Eevee line instead that time, but... Could still use the Surfing Pikachu later on in some sort of water deck for kicks. Uh... I, yeah, I think I am most benefic <laughs> benefited for putting the Pikachu out. And flying Pikachu power up, and uh, yeah, wing attack. I'll probably switch, well, I'll say free switch, into the flying Pikachu and see if I can knock out the surfing Pikachu outright. Uh, the surf attack does a lot of, oh wait, oh that's right, it's, yeah, it's not water, it's lightning. I, I was just saying that and everything. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> not that big of a deal. And... I should probably energy remove a lot just to be extra safe, and heads, yep, that's why you want to be extra safe. <laughs> you might still have another energy card, you might not, oh, he definitely has an energy card now. Uh, but yeah, I was going for the agility knockout because it does 30 damage, uh, wait, 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 put that on Jinx, really? Interesting, but I like it, <laughs> heads please, no. I mean, if you're just gonna put energy on the other Pokemon, I'll, I'll certainly accept that. <laughs> um, wait a second. I think we should trade that for the Raichu, actually. Because remember, water. <laughs> ba -ba -da, ba -ba -da, and I'm gonna save that lightning for the next turn, I suppose. Come on, heads this time. Ah! <laughs> Oh, it's not my lucky deck. It's not my lucky deck. <laughs> I don't know, it's just... Uh, maybe I used up all my luck in those first two games. I chew... Uh, I think I'll skip that. Because he's using surfing. <laughs> so... Just kind of avoid the flying if I can help it. Energy removal for, I think... Probably the Jinx. And... I don't really have a need for anything else, do I? Yeah! <laughs> Come on, heads! Come on, yes! Now, th this is another benefit to these sorts of attacks, because it's affecting only my own Pokémon and not the opponent's Pokémon, Let's like, let's say, a Magmar Smokescreen. The switch into the opponent will not be able to get a free shot in on my critter when I use some sort of damage prevention attack like that. I like those apples. <laughs> and I don't know if I want to even put the tiny little 30 HP Pikachu's in play. Uh, I think I'll just focus on the Raichu and hopefully get heads again. Yay! Happy days. And end the turn. No choice but to do so after the attack. After all, let's do Gong back to the deck for the Tauros. Uh, I suppose that, uh, because I got the lightning, it doesn't make sense. But wait, did one? You know, put the Tauros in play. Hmm. <laughs> um. I suppose. Yeah, that probably. And one more fly. Yay! And that prevents the damage with the switch in again. So I might just end up switching over to Raichu and thundering it. Just to end the game right then and there, probably, might be, maybe, Le you know, these Pokemon have pretty low tree costs, being a lot of flying critters after all, just put that on there and do a thunder, it doesn't matter if I get tails, 
I mean, yeah, I could cost 30 to myself now, but it's too late. That's my last prize card. And challenge was the last prize card indeed, too. Yes, three for three, not bad. Claire, oh man. <laughs> this could be the longest duel in history, because I got my agilities. I got my flies, and she's got everything else. Uh, I'm gonna have to just live with the flying Pikachu for now. And yeah, this, this might just end up being another deck out situation. Uh, we'll see. I, I mean, I may... I doubt it. <laughs> I may be able to wipe her out fast enough, but I, I wouldn't count on it. Uh, probably should Professor Oak... Maybe next turn? Not now, because, you know, Flying Pikachu is not really threatened by anything per se. Everything's got low attack power right now, so... Uh, just just a matter of seeing probabilities and everything like that that I have in the hand and whatnot. And... Electric... Yeah, it's going on there. Is that a Ghastly? It's got a Lick. That's not really a big deal or anything like that. And... We've got... Eh, no paralysis, but... Maybe we'll be able to fly on next turn and knock out that Slowpoke? I say maybe, because it's still coin flip based. And it's got the energies for the afternoon nappers. <laughs> and this is my flying. Let's go put that on that one, though. And... yeah, I probably should drop the Pidgeotto. Sure, the Pidgeotto are good for the strategy, but I've got other stuff for the strategy as well. In fact, I might just, since I put both them in the discard pile, I might just go for the uh, uh, Spearow line instead. And by the way, I'm not going to use Professor Oak all that much, or or the draw cards all that much, because you know, you know how things roll versus her, so. Alright, fly, heads please, thank you. So yeah, the thing about with her is that it could be a ridiculously stally deck, and then it's yeah, she might run me out of cards, so let's not do that risk. I mean, sure, uh, she could run me out of cards this way, you know, just by stalling me as is without playing her Professor Oak, but she, she tends to play Professor Oak and, and the like, so... Uh, probably should fly. It did not fly. Oh, man. <laughs> and energy removal again, but I got plenty where that came from, although she, she can always get that back. Remember, her deck is very energy removal centric. And, well, well, I do have my potions. <laughs> if that should get out of hand, but let's see, go for the heads. Yeah, that's nice. Very nice. And this also has a way of uh, uh, preventing even switch ins, like, like that there. Like if she wanted to do something to Pikachu during a switch in. Nope, doesn't work that way either. <laughs> it works. On both knockouts as well as manual switches. Ooh. Put that on there. And you know for the fly again. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Probably we're gonna rarely be able to fly, aren't we? <laughs> well, you can keep afternoon napping all you want, but that's not really doing much. I mean you, you probably should be headbutting in all honesty, although maybe she knows I have a potion. And maybe she's working on Sneaky slow bro? Maybe? Let's fly. Yay! So even if she got, she's got some sort of slow bro, they only seem to have around like 60 HP in general, so it's still threatened by said Pikachu. Uh, uh, are you just doing that to try and get energy cards in your hand? Maybe. <laughs> Now that I think about it, I mean, it's nothing I can really do about that, but <laughs> just just thinking of the various strategies and everything like that, so, yeah. Anyway, now I got both Pika Poopers going there. Should probably focus on that Firo. I didn't evolve into Firo because, you know, high energy requirements for the attacks and, and the like, so. Yeah, another Pidgey I might not want to use, but I've got it. Uh, there it is. <laughs> Mr. Mime, uh, energy removal on my flying. Oh, not my double colorless, really? Interesting, I would have definitely gone for the double colorless, because chances are the opponent is going to have one energy card. Anyway, she uh, 
now drew more cards than I did, so yeah, now she's behind in cards in the deck. That's the whole... The whole thing that... That was some weird audio glitch there, but that's the whole thing that I figured would happen. Ooh, I don't have the... I figured I would get something, but... Well, Thundershock. <laughs> I'll take that anyway, because it's still a coin flip for a potential stop of an attack, so... Although, she might just be going for the energy cards anyway. Um, that's actually where she's been sucking out the energy cards in her deck, was the, the part of the Slowpoke dealio. Put that on there, and... Maybe I'll go for the Thunder Shock first of all. Because it'll drop it down to 30. And then, you know, guaranteed drop it down to 30. As opposed to Fly, which may leave it at 40, so... Uh, that could be a little bit of an issue, we shall see. How that play tricks goes, maybe? I don't I think it's gonna end up healing my critters more than anything, yeah. <laughs> it's like I don't I don't know if you really wanna do that to my flying Pikachu. And uh, I don't really uh, I probably should go for Raichu if I can. So I'll put that in play. I don't know if I wanna put the other Fero in play just yet, but, but I do know I wanna try to fly. Oh man. Those balloons just did not inflate properly. And back to <laughs> we just moved it back to the flying Pikachu. So it's like she's just trying to play play chicks to see if she gets damage countered as some something that she wants in general, I I guess. Maybe I'm just trying to rationalize what she's going for here. Oh and I should also, for the sake of safety, potion, even though it's even though Slowpoke can only do ten damage, it's still possible that she might switch into Mr. Mime, yeah, just other other possibilities that could cause my peek a poop ire. Oh man. <laughs> and mm, <that> but <laughs> so yeah, I think she's got all the energy cards that she wants, so she's pretty pleased with that, I presume. And I guess I'll just leave the Pikachu's HP as is, because meditate oh man. I was to say because meditate can only do 20 damage based on that, so. Uh, never mind. <laughs> Can't even do that now, because she's just seemingly randomly moving her own damage counters just because. Maybe she wants to knock out that Pikachu? Speaking of, I should probably evolve that into Raichu. <laughs> just in case of random damage dealio issues. So, wait, actually, what am I doing? <laughs> I was thinking a potion for some reason, I don't know why, but... And there we go. And I was... she's not... I mean, she's surprisingly not really... Preventing me from attacking all that much here. You, like, usually she does with their energy removal giblets and stuff like that, but not right now, so I'm just kind of able to get through right now. It's kind of weird. It's, she doesn't even have her Kangaskhans. Uh, is it safe to Professor Oak? I do believe it is. Yeah, it is safe to Professor Oak, so uh, I could even do that with Challenge if I wanted to. Um. Just trying to think of what I want to put in play. I'll put Spiro in play first, though, and we'll just use Challenge first. See if I get an energy. And another challenge. And now I'm kind of below the. No, wait. Yeah, I am below the, the threshold of Professor Oak, so I'll. No, no Professor Oak for now. I'm just <laughs> looking for. You know, to draw the least amount of cards if I can help it, basically. So that, that gave me the energy I was looking for. So what we're gonna do is just fly. Yeah! <laughs> I said we were gonna fly, and we definitely flew. And now, she might want to switch. Um, that's actually kind of useful for me, because it, the play tricks there will uh, allow me to use a potion, just get the full aspect of that potion. Uh, well, okay. Oh, I, I, I'm still able to! <laughs> they both went the Furo. <laughs> I was gonna say, if she's gonna shuffle them around twice, maybe I won't be able to, because it's gonna split them up, but no! Nope, that just worked right out there! Uh, well now with, uh, Pikachu in the situation with Mr. Mime here, I can't use Fly, because it's not gonna do... Yeah, it's not gonna do any sort of damage, so I'm better off switching to Fero at this point and just using Agility. So I'm gonna do that. Voila! And... Just kinda think about what I wanna do here. I suppose go for said Raichu as I was working on for a little while. 
And that's it is. So that means Mr. Mime isn't meditating any day of the week. <laughs> she might actually, uh, ooh, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> I was gonna say, she might actually uh, switch to Mr. Mime. That actually might be even better. Uh, hmm. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I should profess a rogue now. <laughs> For obvious reasons of the deck. And I could just kind of let it take a little bit of damage, I suppose. And then just scoop off if necessary, right? I suppose. <laughs> or I, I could have also switched over to uh, Flying Pikachu and just did Thunder Shocks, but I don't know. I just. I don't know, you know? <laughs> just seems find the leaf hero there right now. Energy removal, Mr. Mine? Actually, maybe I should. Because it's a free retreat anyway, so... I'm gonna move it to this one, because it's got the least amount of energy. And then Thundershock. It'll do 10 damage regardless of the coin flip, but I really did want that head, because I don't want her to switch into something else, basically. And... Wait, did... What are you... Just one, just one damage counter, and you can't even do do anything to Pikachu right now anyway. Uh, I'm not gonna use that. Just use the Thundershock. And I'm not using the challenge because we're getting in the uh, low card range here, but I might actually just be able to win outright uh, based on what she's got. So we shall see. The, the flying Pikachu, I can potion that if she decides... What are you doing with this?! <laughs> and Dark Dark Hunter, that's not really gonna do that much per se. Oh, paralysis will though. <laughs> um Hmm. I don't wanna go blow her in the cards, so. I think I might just do a uh, trade into a Fero. You know, trade a Pidgey into a Fero. If I, assuming that there is there we go. Assuming there is one in the deck for a little bit later on. I'm gonna refocus on this one though because it's already got energy and end the turn. So yeah, there isn't uh, two damage counters on the flying Pikachu here. Uh, that re kinda remained the same. And moved over to Spear also, I can potion that. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I don't think this is gone if she's planning. <laughs> and paralysis, but I'm gonna go, and go ahead and heal up my Spiro. Oh wait, that. Oh yeah, so I'd use all my potions. I could use Scoop Up. <laughs> that would be just, just the same, basically. Okay. <laughs> that back in play. Um. Do I want to put that energy in play? I don't know. I think I'll hold on to it because I don't know where I want to put that energy. And as you as you would expect with Claire, it's a long duel. <laughs> it's not really the fault of this deck as you've seen, it's just it's Claire. You know, she's got a lot of defensive tactics. Okay, so now I'm thinking I should put it on the active flying Pikachu for the sake of oh, okay. For the sake of the fly, I could do more damage or not. <laughs> it's always a possibility of getting tails after all play tricks, you're just gonna shuffle them around however you please, twice over, <laughs> for no for no given reason. Uh, super energy removal maybe for the, my flying Pikachu, because it's the most threatening critter perhaps right now? Maybe? And then is on oh, the other flying Pikachu, okay that makes more sense, because that removes more uh, energy and the like, so, and, oh man, actually that might be useful, if you think about that. Because it caused me to put a, yeah, something back to the deck. Which automatically gives me a little bit of a leeway in her deck draws. Anyway, Fiora, of course, is going to be next. Oh yeah, double colorless. Uh, but I should probably go agility first. Put that on there. And yeah, but with, with the, the now leeway with the decks there. Wait, actually, no, no, no. She's got, yeah, that's right, she's, she put some more stuff back in hers. So, yeah, uh, she's 15 to my 14 now, so that could be an issue, depending on the situation. So, yeah, I definitely shouldn't be 
using draw power for sure. Anyway, heads would be nice, thank you. <laughs> and then for sure I'll be able to drill peck that haunter, but she, for all we know, maybe she's smart enough to try and cause me to run out of cards? Maybe? I don't know. Well, then. <laughs> we shall see. Um, but that, uh, dark, that Dark Gengar there, that's... Uh, that was a very bad move on her part. <laughs> that Dark Gengar there is a very weird card. Like, it doesn't actually do any damage in on itself, it just pushes stuff aside. <laughs> so yeah, you just gonna put something back into... Oh, to the Raichu, that's alright. That actually is probably more useful than anything, because now I got a whole bevy of stuff to Professor Oak into if I really wanted to, because see, I got 16 cards back in my deck versus her 7, so I could very well do that. But, or I could just try and run around of cards, that would be a nice possibility as well. I think I'm gonna energy removal that Dark Gengar just so it, it just kinda, I can get something built, just, just in general, because otherwise she might just keep pushing aside my stuff, but she might just do that anyway. Uh, maybe instead of Professor Oak, I'll go with Challenge. Because it's less of a draw. Energy removal, very nice. And one more. Sure, sure. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm going to win this based on just deck out. <laughs> but we shall see. She may very well have some sort of devious plot to put a load of cards back in her own deck. Just another Dark Gengar. Just to be playing tricks. So many times with one damage counter <laughs> for no good reason. <laughs> Seemingly no good reason. Wait, oh, she wants the. So she wants the damage counters on the Spiro then? Okay, I see. Hmm. Anyway, I'm an agility. And a little bit of damage and possibly prevent uh, future damage to Firo, but I'm pretty sure she's just gonna go for shuffling stuff back to my deck, most likely. And, I mean, if, she's, if she has Dark Gengar as the active Pokémon... Oh, she just minus one her deck with that computer search. Yeah, so she is going to try and just keep offsetting stuff. That's part of her strategy, because she keeps throwing my energy cards back to the deck. But at this point, uh, four cards left in her deck and she's got five prize cards. No matter how things are going to go now... I win, <laughs> so let's just skip that agility and start going for that drill pack, I suppose. Uh huh. You, you, you go ahead and play tricks. I, I I could just put something on the bench, you know. By the way, <laughs> maybe she's trying to knock out all my uh, active Pokemon and put stuff back in the uh, deck at the same time, expecting me to not have any more in hand, even though I've just been kind of building them up. <laughs> I'll just do that then, I suppose. Uh, fly Pikachu as well. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have put the regular Pikachu in play because of the low HP. It might get some tricky damage counters moved over to it. Uh, I don't think it'll much matter, though. And uh, play tricks. It just, <laughs> just distributed them equally. There we go again. Okay, there's Pikachu getting some damage there. I mean, it's it's 10, 10 HP away from that. And push aside. No go! Um, num -num -num -num. I could probably safely Professor Hulk, but let's go focus on the other flying Pikachu, I suppose. And then, I guess? It's drill pack anyway. Because, uh,. It'll do the most damage, and I could possibly then get it knocked out on the next turn, no matter what critter I have out, so... Uh, <laughs> this is really trying to get that Pikachu knocked out, probably. Uh, watch her just put the Pikachu back in the deck with that. <laughs> Alright. I win. <laughs> so yeah, it was a long duel with Claire, as usual, but... What could you do? I still won. <laughs> I'm really surprised she didn't get more of her beaters in play, you know, the Kangaskhans. Alright, Imakuri, you're my finale, and you may very well be the toughest opponent. In fact, you are the toughest opponent. You even prevent me from getting basic Pokémon in my opening hand. <laughs> oh, twice over! <laughs> so, 
they're gonna, you're probably gonna get them this time. There I go. Uh, this girl is iffy. I mean, I have a challenge that you draw two cards, but I don't know if. I, don't know. I was gonna say I don't know if he'll be able to. Oh, oh never mind. This is say I don't know if he's gonna be threatening my Spiro with anything, but nah, I, I think with that confusion we'll be okay. <laughs> might might be more than okay actually. I'm gonna put that in play. I'm gonna actually wait to use anything Professor Oak wise if I get one because I want that Firo in play at maximum power. So anyway, wing attack. <laughs> And then maybe we can do a Firo Sweep versus Imakuni, because I'll have two double colorless energy on it. That'd be pretty nice. Ba -ba -da. Ba -ba -da. Ba -ba -da. I might as well as well. And I also probably should energy remove a lot. And yeah, everything else is could be held on to. <laughs> so there we go. We're looking good so far. And yeah, I think if I just drill peck sweep, or maybe in the, in certain cases when I can't knock them out in one shot, I'll use agility first and then drill peck. Uh, well, of course I will. And he's going for the five himself. So I'm, I'm who am I to say no to so many cards? Um, hmm. Oh, you know, I was thinking about the ruling on challenge. Like, you know how it says that you're supposed to... Oops, I was... <laughs> uh, um... The ruling on challenge here. I mean, I mean, excuse me, computer error, not challenge. You may drop the five cards and your opponent may drop the five cards. The thing about this, though, is... Who declares how many cards you draw first? Like, say, in that situation with Claire, when we were playing with the numbers a lot? What if I wanted to draw one less card than she wanted to draw, you know what I mean? Or, or is it just a non-verbal thing where you just draw cards? <laughs> because if so, you can still count the opponent's cards, so I'm not sure how that... how that would be played ruling-wise. <laughs> Maybe it's like the person who plays it does the declaration first, and then the opponent or something? I don't know. Anyway... <laughs> Maybe I'm overthinking that. Um, Spiro and play. I mean, there's not a lot of situations when challenge is really gonna matter that much because most 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 of the time players are gonna want to choose five cards both sides. After all, so yeah. Uh, Pidgeotto and uh, yeah, agility. I, I kind of want him to attack in, in a way because of the confusion, but I don't know if he actually will because of said confusion. And Mr. Mime, Drowsy's probably gonna... Oh, it worked. I was gonna say, Drowsy's probably gonna try and go for its dirty deed once again. Or... I thought... I thought I was already confused, or... Uh... Am I missing something, or... Or maybe he just doesn't want to risk causing damage to Mr. Mime? Oh, yeah, that's that's right, the Drowsy was... Oh, yeah, yeah, it was, uh... Imakuni, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm an idiot. Psst. Wait, wait, actually, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Imakuni. Oh yeah, he did Imakuni. Okay. I don't know what I was thinking there. Just thinking too much about the computer error, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, agility first. See if I can prevent damage. That's a no-go. But at the very least, I know I'll be able to knock it next turn with the. Uh, Drill pack? Well, maybe I'll be able to knock it out. There's always the chance that something will go awry, I suppose. Ooh, yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen with Mr. Mime, but okay, definitely not gonna happen with Mr. Mime. Alright, and... I should probably use those potions up now. He's like, oh man, I, all that work I did. <laughs> Put down Pidgeotto and Drill Pack. I don't really see me doing the sweep as quick as I thought I would at this rate, but I'm still in pretty good position, so we should be alright for now. Mm, nothing. <laughs> put this on Spiro, I suppose. Probably should put that in play as well for the future. 
I was just thinking I should save it for Pokemon Trader, but... Uh, agility. <laughs> Yay! So that means guaranteed no damage for Fearow, unless some sort of sneaky switcher happens, but chances are that's not going to be. Double colorless. Put that on there, Drill Pecker. Halfway done with the prize cards. He hasn't taken a single one yet, so I guess you could say this deck is working as planned, my deck, because, you know, damage prevention, uh, avoidance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ooh, Professor Oak. That could be pretty nice to use. I don't know if I want to dump all that stuff that I've got, though. I, maybe I should wait until I get one trade. Like, trade for a Pikachu or something like that. Anyway, agility. You know the strategy. Try to prevent damage first, and then finish it off with the Drill Peck rather than Drill, te uh, drill Peck first. Headbutt. Just a little scratch damage here and there. That, uh... Wait, wait, actually... As I say, put that on the Spiro, but... Because Spiro, you know, if that's coming, that'll be a nice instant 40, I suppose. You know, I, I, I said before I made this... I, I, I mean, actually, before I started the challenge, that... I wasn't gonna use Spiro's Drill Peck all that much, but that's just how things seem to be leading! <laughs> what, am I, what else am I gonna do if it's leading that way? I mean, it's expensive, but it's working, it's my best option. Sure, why not? Um, so yeah, we're gonna do that Pokemon Trader, as promised, into Pika Pika Chu. That way I can possibly get a Raichu in the future, but I'm not going to Professor Oak right away. I'm gonna try and power up that Pikachu, because I don't think you'll be able to really do a lot of threatening stuff to that Pikachu, it's... yeah, so we shall see uh, if that plan works out. If not, well, he gets a prize card, I guess. Uh, challenge. Mm, potion, Fearow. That potion's instantly gonna be used. Should probably put Spiro in play as well. Uh, energy removal, probably that Mr. Mime for the future. Drill Peck, and call it a turn. One more to go. Just one more to go. You know, um, two more energy cards, if I should get a Raichu, would be able to thunder anything he's got on the field. And that did not work out for him. <laughs> uh, is there anything that I can... I don't think there's anything that can really do 50 damage on my side of the field right now, though. It's like, everything does 20, 30, 40, 10, and then there's a jump up to the 60 for the... The uh, Raichu. Oh, that's right. <laughs> uh, yeah, might as well. Because I, he's gonna have to start switching then. Like, regardless of what I, what damage I did, because, yeah, I'm on my last prize card. Oh, Dark Hypno. Surprise. Uh, that will not help that much if I get Raichu, because it's 60 HP, but still a surprise. <laughs> Alright, so, here we go. Raichu! I choose you! Assuming I'll get one. <laughs> I don't know if I will. I got one! <laughs> I, I, I figured I probably would, because I'm getting long cards in the deck. Free retreat to Raichu. Thunder for the win. Doesn't matter if I get tails, but heads is extra nice to see. And victory! Woo! Man, I didn't think I'd beat Imakuni. He was by far the toughest one here. <laughs> this deck actually worked a little better than I thought it would. Uh, I, I tested it on the easier opponents, but I didn't think it would work quite as well on the harder ones. But it kind of did. I mean, even against Claire, it was, it was pretty effective. Alright, with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I continue on my Challenge Machine giblets. I bet she likes watching me. <laughs> <laughs>